Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to create a data dictionary. The first thing we need to look at is the example data from this flat file database. So we're going to start firstly with the patient uh, table and all the all the information that is related to the patient table will go into this table. So the first field that we need is an ID field. You can see that my example is PAT001 and then I'm going to work backwards and do the field size of six, the data type of text because it contains letters and numbers and the data format is letter, 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 number, number, number. The patient's first name and surname, there is no real definitive size for the fields so we're just going to approximate and we're going to use 20 and 30. Both are going to be text fields, there's no data format for this and you can clearly see the examples. The patient address is similar, but we're going to increase that field size to 40. The patient date of birth does follow a certain structure and that's day, day, month, month, year, year, year. The patient's gender, which is only one value, um, and we're going to use a Boolean data type for that. So moving on to the driver table, the first field should pretty much always be a, uh, an ID field. In this case, the driver license is our unique identifier for every driver in that database. So again, it follows a pattern. Now, the reason why we've gone for text here is because you cannot start a number field with zero. So if you are going to start a number with zero, make sure that the data type is going to be text. Driver first name and surname is exactly like the patient table. There's no set field size. So we are just going to approximate and say, you know, 20 or 30 um, is a sufficient number for those fields. We also then have the driver registration and the driver registration follows a certain pattern. It has two letters followed by a hyphen, followed by three numbers. So you can um, you can identify those numbers by um, also typing in uh, hashes in that data format or you can use NNN. The final table is the transport table. Now the transport table from this flat file database, there's not much information about it. So we will have to make up pretty much all of the fields that go in here. The good thing is, is that um, we're using the primary keys from the patient and driver table to help us. So the first field in the transport table is the transport ID and we are going to follow uh, a similar pattern to the driver registration. So two letters, uh, hyphen and then three numbers. Then we move to the date and time which are just you know date and time fields in certain uh, formats but then we have the patient id and also the driver license now you can pretty much copy and paste from the previous tables because it's the same data the only thing that will be different is the description in the description all it is is the foreign keys from the other tables anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time